My wife might have cheated with her friend's ex-boyfriend. Last update. Hello everybody. I really want to thank everybody for their support these past couple of weeks. Everybody seemed to really be concerned about me talking to my wife after I caught her cheating and assumed I was going to immediately reconcile with her after what she put me through. I can't lie I did want to know what my wife could possibly say to justify her actions. I was in a bad state of mind and kinda still am. Ever since me and my wife ran into, Trey, who I can now call her AP at the grocery store, things went south ever since. It's hard to forgive that, especially since I had to practically chase this woman across the city. Now that I have multiple confessions on my VR, there's nothing anybody can tell me about what's been happening since the beginning of this year. Thanks to this community, I was able to kinda confront this, even though I may have stumbled a little at first. But I'm super embarrassed at how this ended. After I tray in her kissing after hours in her nail salon, I got a call from her best friend Mandy. She said that my wife wanted to explain the next day and I agreed to it. The next day came and my wife never called me. That was fine with me because I was in the middle of calling everybody to let them know about her cheating, and I called a lawyer. After talking to a recommended lawyer online I was supposed to call him back because he was leaving the office at the time and he had questions for me later. After that, I took my kids over my mom's house because she demanded they stay with her for the weekend. My mom blamed this on me because I married her and she said she didn't trust me with the kids right now. My aunt came in from the kitchen and asked why my mom was raising her voice. My mom explained it to my aunt and she looked super shocked. Throwing her hands up, she sat on my mom's couch to unmuted the TV after my mom muted it to start blowing down on me. Even though my mom came down on me hard, I was happy she was taking the kids. I had a lot going on in my head and being by myself helped me get it out since I was still angry when we arrived. My friend Marcus called me too and asked if I had spoke to my wife. I told him no and that I was probably with Trey somewhere and he said he might not even call, which was fine with me. I was getting ready to move on. On Saturday, I was trying to clean my house and I heard my wife's keys in the door. I really must have been not paying attention to anything because I should have heard her car pull up. My wife her friend Mandy walked in and it caught me by surprise. She definitely didn't look like her normal self because she was wearing a grey Nike sweatsuit, no makeup and her hair wasn't combed and held together by a rubber band. The shame on her face showed remorse, probably for the fact that she had got caught. I wasn't used to seeing her like this because she was usually a breathtaking woman. Maybe this was only a privilege for Trey now. She clearly liked the way he was checking her out at his Super Bowl party, especially when he was looking at her body. My wife had what you would call a booty, and just like other girls, wore yoga pants and I caught Trey trying to sneak looks at it. I think you can say that's what started all of this and it got them caught after me being suspicious. After walking into our house Mandy asked me to just let my wife speak, and I said fine. After that Mandy said something to my wife and went out on the porch. I told my wife I was surprised she came and even bothered to talk to me. She said she felt like she needed to after I saw her and Trey at her salon. She said after that she was scared to come back home. She asked where the kids were and I told her they were with my mom. She looked down as if that wasn't what she wanted to hear and told me she was mad about me telling her co-owner of her nail salon, Sherry, to tell me everything about Trey. I told her that I didn't have to. I told her after Sherry got caught she immediately ratted her out to save her own skin. My wife said they got into an argument and Sherry haven't come back to work and I told her that she got caught cheating and I don't care about Sherry having a big mouth. My wife threw up her hands and said I was right and said she didn't want to fight. She said she was sorry, and she didn't want me to find out about her cheating with Trey. I her saying sorry wasn't going to make it okay, and that she betrayed me. I asked him how he could parade this guy around me, acting like he was just a friend and then throw our relationship into disrepair. She said she was sorry and she let her fantasies with Trey get out of hand. She said when her friend, Tasha, from her old job was dating him she always told my wife how great he was. She would always say how handsome he was, and she would show my wife all the flirting Tasha and Trey did while they were at work. The next day Tasha and my wife would talk about it and my wife liked it. She said when Trey came to their job to pick her up she saw Trey and thought he was handsome. 
After talking about Trey with Tasha, she knew she liked him. I asked her did he say something to her at the time, and she said he complimented her a few times and that was it. I told her I knew something was off because when we ran into Trey at the supermarket, I don't remember her giving him her phone number. She said he asked for it and he began texting her, and started flirting with her again then it turned to flirting. She said after that she started hanging out with him and some of his friends. I asked her was that the day when she was supposed to be doing Mandy's mom's nails down Trey's house and I named off his street to let her know I knew where he lived exactly. She asked how I knew this and I told her I went looking for her and saw her with him outside that night. I asked her again and she said yes and I asked her if she had had relationships with him and all she could say was that she was sorry. She said when he called her he said everybody was there hanging out and he convinced my wife to ghost Mandy to hang with them. She said when she got there she waited for more people to show up and Trey had admitted he just wanted her to be alone with him. I had asked her why she didn't leave and she said she knew what he wanted. She said he got all touchy with her and started kissing her. She said things got out of hand with them and she didn't stop it. After that I called her bad form and complicated our marriage and she said she was sorry. I told I can never trust her again and she said she wasn't asking me to. I asked what she meant by that she said she wanted to pursue a relationship with Trey. I told her I was totally crazy and she told me she was really looking forward to it. She said always fantasized about Trey and she didn't think it mattered until we ran into him that day. She said when he told her that him and Tasha wasn't serious it actually made her happy, especially after he started flirting with her again. She said she secretly hoped something would happen, and it did when she went to his house that night. She said that when she had relationships she wanted to feel bad, but didn't. After he would call her to hang out she said it would happen spontaneously, then it was planned. She said she should have talked to me about it instead of going behind my back with Trey. She said that I didn't deserve it and this was the better way to go about it. I told her she was crazy and asked if she really wanted to leave her family for this guy. She said it was a feeling she always had about him and she wished she pursued it before being married to me. She told me Trey wanted a relationship with her especially since she liked Trey more than she liked me. I asked him if he was also having sex with his friends and he called me crazy. I told her I had to ask because I know she's been riding around with them. She said that Trey would sometimes call her and tell her to pick his friends up and give them a ride somewhere. I asked was now some kind of free Uber and she just rolled her eyes. She said it just happened and I just said, whatever. My wife said she wanted out of our marriage because she didn't want to be married to me while thinking about somebody else. I reminded her she couldn't date Trey at the time because he was already dating Tasha, and we were still together at the time. And I asked her what Tasha would think about her wanting to be with Trey. She said they were just casually dating at the time and she wouldn't care now. I told her that's true, but Tasha would think less of her as a friend and she would be right. My said she didn't want to argue, she wanted to end this on good terms. Then he left with Mandy, who kept poking her head out, and they went back to who knows where. As much as I didn't want to agree with my wife she was right. I would hate being married to her knowing she'd rather be with another guy. She was very delusional, but I'd rather let her find out for herself. After that living in the house by myself was even harder. He was definitely angry about this embarrassment. Is this what relationships are like now? Is it that easy to throw your marriage away like this? I honestly thought being married for 9-9 nine, nine years would mean we didn't have to worry about these things. When Monday came, I called off work to meet with a lawyer and filed for divorce. Somebody said I could get alimony from my wife's nail salon, and he said if the kids want to live with me that's doable. My mom has been a big help with the kids but I found out my mom spoiled my kids while they were with her and also told them that my wife was leaving the family to go live somewhere else. When my oldest asked me, all I could do was shake my head thanks to my mom. I have had to tell then and they didn't take it well. Even though my mom did that it fell in my favor. After picking up my kids, we rolled past Trey's house and I showed my kids that's where their mom wants to live. I asked my kids did they want to live there with her. They both looked at the rickety house with a bunch of guys standing on the porch and said no. I asked were they sure, and my oldest said, not for a million dollars. I called my wife on my lunch break today and told her that I already filed for the divorce and she said okay. 
She said she wanted to come over and talk to the kids and I told her my mom was picking them up from school today because I had things to do. My wife said she really wanted to talk to them and I said when I get home she can come over and I'll ask my mom to bring them back after hanging out with her. She asked to just pick up the kids and I told her if she wants to see the kids so bad, go over to my mom's house and pick them up. But it won't be the smartest thing she did. My got upset and said I always hide behind my mom, and I told her if she wants to see the kids go over to my mom's house, that is if she's bold. Giving a frustrated sigh, she hung up clearly knowing how petty my mom can be. Since then I haven't heard from my wife. I sent her one last text saying all we need to talk about from here is about the divorce and sometimes our kids. Right now I'm only thinking about my daughter's lives. Just because my wife gave up on them that don't mean they're alone. I know for a fact Trey wouldn't plan on giving up his player life. I hope while she's busy taking a facial from him that she would think about that. It's not my problem anymore and like I said I'll let her worry about what might happen. I really want to thank everybody here for the amazing support. I was definitely scared to go down this road and it made me braver. I've stories about them catching their so in lies like I did. Worse still, some of them were caught in the act, which would have made me sick. I will definitely come back from this bad thing someday. My wife was very flawed and it showed through her being extremely selfish. How he could break all his rules for him and force me to comply. It's a question I've been hearing from good men lately and it seems unfair. This is my last update and I want to thank you guys one more time. Some people are just for the street. Comments. 1. Sorry you are going through this. In case you don't already know, you can get a co-parenting app and communicate with your ex about the kids exclusively through the app. Get one that's approved by the county handling the divorce and custody, so anything on the app is admissible in court. That way, if your ex tries to lie about you, make you out to be abusive to her or the kids, you have proof she's lying. If she lies to the kids about you, text her about it on the app, whatever she says is admissible. Make sure all communications about visitation are through the app. If he skips visitation often, and you, or your mother, take care of the children most of the time, your ex has to pay you child support. Your attorney should know which apps is approved by the county. Good luck OP. 2. I don't know if it's just me living under a rock but this is the first time I've heard of an app like that. What a great idea. 3. She's gonna end up regretting her decision and I hope you're gonna have a really good laugh about it when that happens. 4. Yep. Definitely. She pretty much lost everything, her kids her husband all to be another side chick to be pumped and dumped by a bigger piece of trash than her. Don't ever take that woman back bro, and I wish you and your kids all the best going forward. 5. She's going to beg you to come back when she realizes Trey is using her, so sad that he's chauffeuring her, he has her dogmatized but it wears off. Do not let your girls be alone around him as well. Please be very careful, keep you kids safe. 6. Good ridden. You got AP Trey to take out the trash from you house and your life. You deserve better than that low down ducked up ex and you are right she let her standards go down low into the gutter. Gut feelings say that MTF is a womanizer and he'll not stop just with your wife. Mark my words, she'll live to regret it. Go through your divorce process use a good lawyer. Sue both of them ESP Trey and make them pay for cheating on you and ruining your marriage. Do herself a favor, do not let them off easy after what they have put you through. All the best OP. 7. She's definitely gonna end up regretting this and maybe even getting her heart broken by Trey especially if he ends up not even loving her she just sounds like she's gonna be his lackey and she's always gonna have to deal with him and his friends but anyway when that happens I hope you have a really great life especially with someone else when she tries to come crawling back. I also wonder like how long has she been unhappy that she just jumped and did this selfish thing it I guess it doesn't matter but she should have been talked to you about it if she was unhappy. Anyway good luck to you bro you gonna come out even better after this. 8. Please update us when she comes crawling back. We want to hear when he realizes how badly he has done and that he is now nothing more than damaged goods. 9. Mandy also sounds like a bad person, does she condone this behavior? If so and she has a BF or husband they deserve to know what type of person she is. Sorry you have to deal with this dude. 
live for your daughters and find someone that will actually love you. Also if it matters to you get a paternity test on your daughters, this may have not been the first time. 